Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the nerve supply of the lacrimal gland. The lacrimal gland has three types of nerve supply. It is a gland, so it has secretomotor fiber, those are parasympathetic. So, parasympathetic innervation. It is a gland. It also has the, the sympathetic innervation. Sympathetic. It is also general sense of innervation. General sensory innervation. So it has three type of innervation. We go one by one. First of all we go to the parasympathetic. This is the lacrimal gland. Lacrimal gland. Okay. So if you go to the parasympathetic parasympathetic Pathetic. It should come, the preganglionic fiber is coming from the lacrimatory nucleus. Lacrimatory nucleus. L lacrimatory nucleus is the upper part of the superior salivatory nucleus. It is located in the pons. There is a part of the brain stem. Okay. Then from there, lacrimatory like nucleus, we are getting the nervous intermediates. Fiber passes through nervous intermediates. That is a part of the cranial nerve number seven or facial nerve, nervous intermediates, then from nervous intermediates we will go to the geniculate ganglion, geniculate culate ganglion, that is also a part of the seventh cranial nerve or facial nerve, then we we'll go to the greater pectoral nerve greater from geniculate ganglion will go to the greater petrosal nerve greater petrosal nerve okay so this is the greater petrosal nerve greater petrosal nerve okay from greater petrosal nerve we are going to the Nerve to the pterygoid canal. Nerve to the pterygoid canal. Pterygoid canal. Nerve to the pterygoid canal. Here we have the parasympathetic fiber. We have the sympathetic fiber coming close together. Okay. This is the parasympathetic fiber goes to the Pterygopalatine ganglion that is the largest parasympathetic ganglion in the head and neck region that is located in the pterygopalatine fossa now to the pterygoid canal to the pterygopalatine ganglion here there is a sinus or relay. So up to this from lacrimatory nucleus up to this, this is preganglionic fiber. This is the preganglionic parasympathetic fiber. From here onward, that is the postganglionic parasympathetic fiber. Okay. From pterygopalatine ganglion, postganglionic fiber goes through the maxillary nerve. Maxillary nerve 
its branch this is the maxillary nerve maxillary nerve and this is the foramen rotundum foramen rotundum for the maxillary nerve to come out of the cranial cavity okay then it has the zygomatic branch maxillary nerve has zygomatic nerve branch then we have the zygomatic temporal branch temporal nerve okay and that is going to the left maxillary nerve then we go, going to the zygomatic nerve zygomatic nerve then we are going to the from zygomatic nerve we are going to the zygomatic zygomatic temporal nerve okay then going to the lacrimal nerve lacrimal nerve to the lacrimal gland lacrimal gland so this is the parasympathetic pathway from the lacrimator nucleus in the pons nervous intermediates geniculate ganglion that is going to the pitta spot of temporal bone geniculate ganglion greater pectoral nerve nerve to the pterygoid canal pterygoparathyroid ganglion there is a synapse here preganglionic Parasympathetic fiber ends here, postganglionic fiber begins from here. This is the this blue is the postganglionic fiber, this blue is the preganglionic fiber to the maxillary nerve. Okay, this is the maxillary nerve. Okay, then it has a branch, the zygomatic nerve. Zygomatic nerve has another branch, zygomatic or temporal nerve going to the lacrimal gland this is the parasympathetic pathway now we go to the sympathetic pathway okay to the lacrimal gland sympathetic pathway okay. sympathetic pathway should start from the superior cervical sympathetic ganglion superior cervical sympathetic ganglion okay from there we are getting postganglionic fibers postganglionic fibers that forms the internal carotid plexus plexus around the internal carotid artery internal carotid artery okay so post fiber will forms the plexus around the plexus around the internal carotid artery okay then it is going to the to the deep petrosal nerve this is synthetic deep petrosal nerve so greater petrosal nerve carry parasympathetic fiber deep deep petrosal nerve deep petrosal nerve it carry the sympathetic fiber greater petrosal nerve carry parasympathetic fiber deep petrosal nerve carry sympathetic fiber okay then same pathway 
here this is the north to the pterygoid canal going to the going to the pterygopalatine ganglion but there is no relay okay we go there north to the pterygoid canal pterygoid canal okay then from there pterygopalatine ganglion Perigo palatine ganglion. But we must remember that sympathetic fiber has no relay. This is the parasympathetic, they have a relay. No relay, that means no synapse. No synapse. Because this is postgangling. Superior cervical sympathetic ganglion, we are getting the postgangling fiber from a superior cervical sympathetic ganglion. Then same maxillary nerve, zygomatic nerve, zygomatic or temporal nerve, it go to the lacrimal gland. Okay. So we can write here, take a button ganglion, no relay. Then we have the maxillary nerve, maxillary nerve. Then zygomatic nerve, then zygomatico, then we get the zygomatico, matico temporal, temporal nerve, then we are going to the lacrimal nerve, lacrimal nerve. Then going to the lacrimal gland. Okay, we got the sympathetic. Sympathetic from superior cervical sympathetic ganglion. We have the preganglionic fiber is present here. From the superior cervical sympathetic ganglion, it contains preganglionic fiber. From there, we are getting the postganglionic fiber. Then plexus around the internal carotid artery, not to the pterygoid canal. Okay pterygopalatine ganglion but no relay no synapse you must remember that these are all are the these all are the post ganglionic fiber pre ganglionic fiber was present here from here we get the post ganglionic fiber no relay no synapse of this red it is going through this pathway to the maxillary nerve Zygomatic nerve, zygomatic or temporal nerve going to the lacrimal gland. We got sympathetic. Now we we'll go to the general sensory. General sensation. General sensation is carried by the lacrimal nerve. This is our lacrimal nerve. Lacrimal nerve. It is a branch of the general sensation. Okay. Here the lacrimal nerve, nerve, a branch of ophthalmic nerve, ophthalmic nerve, that is a branch of a branch of trigeminal nerve trigeminal nerve okay so we got the lacrimal nerve it carry the general sensation here lacrimal nerve carry the postganglionic parasympathetic fiber postganglionic postganglionic sympathetic fiber so that's all about the nerve supply of the lacrimal gland if you like my video please support my channel please subscribe me please share the information with your friends and have a nice day bye now